everyone silver joker here okay so is physical silver a hedge against inflation we hear about that all the time and if so how is it a hedge against future inflation okay well i'm going to explain to you guys my take on that and if you stack physical silver i'm going to tell you exactly why your physical silver can be a hedge against future inflation a mitigator against future inflation Before I go on, I just want to make something clear. I will be talking about silver's price and the value in the future and how that's kind of be determined along the way. But I want you guys to know that the price is secondary to my stacking philosophy. Because for me, and I'm sure it's this way with a lot of long-term stackers, it's not about the price. It's about the amount. It's how much silver we can possibly stack. So the price is kind of secondary. Of course, it determines how much silver we can actually stack, but really it's about the ounces. Look, I view acquiring my physical silver much in the same way I view acquiring my ammunition. I mean, does it really matter how much each round costs as long as they do the job they're intended to do? Because when it comes down to it, volume is gonna be far more important than price. Also, if you like what you see and you want to support my channel, then the best and easiest way you can do that is by simply smashing that like button. By doing so, you show YouTube that you enjoy the content that I produce. So YouTube puts my video where more people can see it. It's a small task for you, but it means so much to my channel. And if you want to see more videos like this one, simply subscribe, ring that bell, and you'll be notified as soon as I put out another video. Thank you. All right, so how can your physical bullion, physical silver, be a hedge against future inflation? How does that stave off or at least minimize some of the inflation that we're absolutely going to be coupled with in the future? Okay, well, I think it's important to understand what inflation is, what the definition of inflation is. All right, so here's the general definition of inflation. Inflation is a rise in general level of prices of goods and services in the country over a period of time. Basically, as the cost of goods and services increases, the value of currency declines because you won't be able to purchase as much with that currency as you could have last month or last year. So basically, what it costs you to buy, let's say, uh, you know, a dozen of eggs today is going to cost you more in the future because the value of that dollar is going to be less. And because of that, a lot of us long-term stackers believe that our silver bullion, our physical silver bullion, is going to be worth more. And here's why I believe that. So as most of us know, the silver rounds, silver coins, silver bars, whatever silver bullion, physical silver bullion that you buy, obviously didn't come like that. It has to be mined. So that means somebody has to go out, find the metal in the earth. They have to uh, hire people to go into the earth and get it. Those people have to do that with equipment that they got to purchase somewhere. So that ore has got to be brought out. It has to be processed. It has to be shipped to a refinery. That refiner has to refine it. In other words, take out all the impurities. Then it gets sent to a mint. And then that mint processes it into the products that we use, the bullion that we use. That's us personally for our stacks and industry for their products that they make. Then it has to be shipped out. And all along the way, during each of those stages, that one ounce of silver is incurring a cost. And because the dollar is going to lose value because of inflation, it's going to cost more at each one of those stages to produce that one ounce of silver. So in the future, the silver is going to be worth more because it's going to cost more to produce it because the dollar is going to be worth less. So naturally, the question then becomes, if the dollar is going to be worth so much less, why are we trading our physical bullion in for a worthless dollar? Well, it's simple. We have to use dollars. There's no way of getting around that. We have to use dollars in our everyday life. We can't use silver right now 
for commerce. We can't use silver for currency. It's just not possible. Kroger's is not going to accept my Silver Eagles for my groceries, and Shell Station is not going to accept my Inglehart bars for gas. It's just not going to happen. So we need those dollars. By stacking physical silver now, you're locking in the value now. So what it costs to produce that one ounce of silver today is going to be increasingly more expensive in the future. So that naturally going to make your silver bullion worth more in the future. So by stacking more of those ounces, you have access to more of those dollars. And everybody will agree, having access to more dollars, inflated dollars or not, is better than not having access to more dollars. Right? It just goes back to what I said in the beginning about my silver bullion and my ammunition. And so the more ounces you stack now, more access to those dollars, which you're absolutely going to need because they're going to be so inflated. To me, it's, it's crystal clear, but it took a while to get there. It's not about what it costs to get it. It's about having it. And the more you have, the better off you're going to be. And if it costs this amount, then that's what it costs to get that volume into your stack. Once that round goes down range it doesn't matter how much you pay for it the only thing that matters is it gonna perform the way it's supposed to and how many opportunities will i get to have it perform the way i want it to that's what it comes down to and that's kind of how i look at my boy kind of rudimentary way to explain it but i think many of you out there understand exactly what i'm saying silver is absolutely a hedge against whatever calamity that may be on its way in the future. It may not be any calamity. It may just give me access to more of those dollars, which I'm gonna need in the future. And that's how I look at it. Okay, so we established that having physical bullion, physical silver, gives you access to fiat dollars. Having those fiat dollars gives you access to the things you need. That may not always be the case in the opposite. You may not always be able to have access to physical bullion with your fiat currency. And we have two recent examples of this being the case. In 2008, would you have accepted the Zimbabwean dollar for your silver bullion? Or in 2018, the Venezuelan boulevard? Of course not, neither would I. However, the American dollar was being traded in Venezuela during this time. This is only for the bus fare. The boulevards now are only useful for public transport, nothing else. Everything else is paid with US dollars. Venezuela's currency costs much more to make than what it's worth. Inflation in the first four months of this year was nearly 300%, and last year it was 3,000%. That's why the country's de facto currency has become the U.S. dollar. But millions of Venezuelans don't have access to it. People were using the American dollar to buy the things they needed because it was worth more than the Venezuela Boulevard. So if you had physical silver during this time in Venezuela, you had access to American dollars because American dollars would buy your physical bullion, gladly buy your physical bullion. Therefore, it would give you a hedge against the financial calamity that was occurring in Venezuela. Now, that's just one example. So physical silver, physical bullion may not be a medium of exchange right now as far as money goes, but it absolutely has value and it actually gives you access to the things you need. And because physical silver, physical bullion always has value and that value can't be inflated away, it's always going to give you a hedge. Anyway, I felt like I've gone on too long with this video already. I appreciate you guys stopping by. I appreciate you showing me the love that you do. And, you know, we're just going to keep the silver train rolling. I'm heading to my local corn store next. I also got some bullion coming from a friend that I buy from who lives in New York. And so I'll share all that with you uh, in the future. So anyway, I appreciate you guys stopping by. Look, silver is a hedge against inflation for a number of reasons. And so having it is a whole lot better than not having it. That's just the way I look at it. <laughs> Anyway, keep stacking. Peace.